23 years after the dream of the forefathers Julius Nyerere, Dr. Milton Obote and Jomo Kenyatta was restored following his collapse in 1977. The East African community is still on its journey of attaining its full integration. Though the region is described as the most progressive regional bloc, the Vice President of the East African Court of Justice, Geoffrey Kiriabwire, is concerned that the process of restoring the East African community to its original glory is very slow. The East African community, the original one, had very, very high levels of integration. In Europe, they made a lot of fuss about a common currency. And many countries, save for the United Kingdom, adopted the euro. But people forget that in East Africa, we had the East African Currency Board, and we had one currency. We already had it. They talked about a parliament. We had a parliament. They talk about the Schengen. We had the Schengen. Justice Kriabuire's remarks came during a farewell party for the Ambassador Richard Cabonero, who has completed his tour of duty <laughs> as Uganda's High Commissioner to Tanzania. Where did we lose this agenda? Why, why are we talking that it was, it was new? Eh? Afande, you're talking about uh, trying to create a liaison of, of military, but the King's African Rifles preceded you. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, strange people like Idi Amin served in East Africa. You know? So th there, is, there is a lot of work to be done. And I believe that Uganda can be championed. Justice Kiriabuire is a Uganda's representative on the regional court headquartered in Arusha, Tanzania. The party was organized by Ugandans living and working in the East African Community Headquarters in Arusha, Tanzania. It is sad to us that this time around we are bidding you a farewell. You have been our icon of, admi of, adm of admiration and honor. You have made us so proud. After four years of his service in Tanzania, Ambassador Cabonero leaves a legacy to have elevated the Arusha liaison office to a consulate. You'll be receiving a, cons a consul general and the office will be expanded and strengthened. That's what the elevation from a liaison office to a consulate means. And therefore, the services... <laughs> so we want to commend the United Republic of Tanzania for accepting our request to elevate this to a consulate. Kabonero has been credited with bringing Ugandans in diaspora closer to their embassies in all the countries he has worked. Richard Tumusime Kabonero is a career diplomat who has served in foreign service for 33 years. Before he was moved to Tanzania, Kabonero was Uganda's ambassador to Rwanda for nine years. Kabonero started his diplomatic career in 1990 in Nairobi, Kenya and later moved to Washington, D.C., in the United States of America. He was too accredited to Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique, Mauritius, and Comoros. The recent reshuffle of the ambassador saw Cabonero being replaced with retired Colonel Fred Mwesige. Cabonero uh, okay. has been recalled to Kampala to await for further instructions. Jingo Francis, NTV, in Arusha, Tanzania.